Welcome to the Creative Huxa. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a neon glow effect in a Fendi photo. First, go to File, Open, and select the image you downloaded. In the Layers panel, click on the Adjustments icon and select Curves. The right side of the Curves adjustment represents the highlights in an image, whereas the left side of the Curves adjustments represents the shadows in an image. Take the point on the right side and drag it slightly down to dim the highlights in the image. Instead of having to adjust the shadows and highlights of your image, you can use an image that is already dark to create this neon effect. Next, grab the Pen tool from the Tools panel. Draw an arch or whatever shape you want, starting from the ground of the forest. In the Swatches panel, make sure the fill color, the white color, is turned off. With the pen tool still active, go to the context toolbar and set the width of the stroke to three points. Then go to the swatches panel, select the stroke and set the color to white. In the layers panel, label this layer main glow. In the layers panel, select the main glow layer. Press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of it or right click on the layer and select duplicate. Then name the duplicate Inner Glow. Select the main glow layer. Then select the FX Layers Effect icon in the Layers panel. Click on Outer Glow. Make sure the blend mode is on screen. Then select the color and give it the following color ED17F0 in the RGB hex sliders. After that, set the opacity to 90%, the radius to 10 pixels, and intensity to 50%. Now, go up top to the Filters menu, then go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels and hit Apply. In the Layers panel, you'll see that the main glow layer has been changed to a pixel layer. In the Layers panel, select the main glow layer again. Press Ctrl plus J to make another duplicate. Then label the duplicate Outer Glow. Select the Outer Glow layer. Go to the Filters menu. Then select Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 25 pixels. Hit Apply. Next, go to the Layers panel. Select Add Pixel Layer to add a new layer. With the new pixel layer selected, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Swatches panel and set the fill color of the brush to the pinkish color we use for the glow, which is ED17F0. Go to the Brushes panel and select the 256 pixel round light brush from the basic brushes. Then, with the pixel layer selected, place a brush mark on both ends of the arch. After that, grab the Perspective tool from the Tools panel. Select the top left point and drag it slightly down and to the right. Then, select the top right point and drag it down and slightly to the right. This will make the glow points look like they're more on the ground coming from the arc instead of floating in the air. Next, go to the Filters menu. Select Blur Gaussian Blur. Then, set the radius to 25 pixels. This will diffuse some of the glow that we created for these dots. In the Layers panel, go to the Adjustments icon and select the Gradient Map Adjustment. When the adjustment appears, select the green color stop. Next, click the Delete beside Reverse. Then, select the blue color stop. Go to Color and RGB Hex Sliders. Set this color to our pink glow color, which is ED17F0. Now select the red color stop. Go to color and set it to the following color 330333. 
In the Layers panel, drag the gradient map adjustment above the original image. With the gradient map still selected, set the blend mode of this layer to screen, then lower the opacity to 40%. Now, go to the Layers panel and select Add Pixel Layer. Then, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. With the paintbrush tool activated, go to the context toolbar and lower the opacity of the brush to 30%. Next, increase the flow to 100%. Make sure that the brush you selected is still the same one that we used prior, which is the 256 pixel brush from the basic brushes. Now, make sure you have the pixel layer selected. Then, Paint around the bottom of the arch area. With the painted pixel layer selected, go to the Filters menu. Select Blur Gaussian Blur. Then increase the radius to 100 pixels. Select the pixel layer. Let's add a little more brightness to the arch. Select the pixel layer. Next, go to the filters menu and click lighting. Set the lighting to the following properties that you see on the screen. Finally, go to the Layers panel and lower the opacity of the pixel layer to 70%. If you wanted to change the color of your glows, Go to the Layers panel. Select all of the glow layers. Select the first one, then hold Shift to select the last glow layer, and it will select all the glows. Then press Ctrl plus G to group the selected layers. Label this group Glows. Next, click the Adjustments icon and select the HSL Hue Saturation Luminosity Adjustment. Then, slide the hue shift slider towards your desired color. This will also change the overall image since it's at the top of all the layers. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.